What's up, guys? Welcome to the Beyond the Gym Floor podcast. Today, you are going to learn how Jason and I manage our social media, how we balance not looking like a dick on the internet, whether you should use hypersexualized content or not, why you might be attracted to hypersexualized content, and how not to fall into those pitfalls. And as always, a heap of banter. Enjoy the episode. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on? <laughs> there we go. Hey. Shadow. The fu- it's fucking shadow for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better. That's much better. All right, we're good. Oh, awesome. rolling. Look out. Fuck, it wasn't right. ready. Yeah, neither. <laughs> <laughs> Is this from last week or have we got something different? No, nah, it's from last week. Oh, okay. It's brewing away though. I'm going to get Tam to send me a clip of the intro from last week. Yeah. And send it to Padre Coffee. Like, listen. Gives us sponsorship. Really, really going to haggle people for sponsorship. Gives us a sponsorship. <laughs> How are you, Ben? I'm well. I'm well. Yeah. I don't know what episode that was on. We're on learning now. Yeah. So they wouldn't we have filmed so that. many. Yeah. So if you didn't listen to Barbells and Banter last week, we reviewed some coffee and we're trying to get a coffee sponsorship. That's it. If you like coffee, which I assume you do, tell you like Padre to sponsor us. Yep. Yep. And What's then we your, can um, get you a promo code. For some coffee, mm. are you? Do you have a coffee practice? Are you one of those people who's been listening to other people speak in the social media space, consuming so, caffeine outside so of a window of awakening? I have a confession to make. Good, me uh, too. As someone who, <laughs> as someone who really loves coffee a lot, I, I think it was more. I wasn't. I was delaying my first meal, and I. We also, all know also <laughs> sensitive digestion, Ben. I know sensitive everything, Ben. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, having coffee on the empty stomach meant that I didn't actually get any work done because I was just in shit the whole time. <laughs> 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 so I actually started having a cup of tea when I woke up. Oh yeah. So I make my cup of tea and go to the office straight away. Yeah, and I feel like cup. Uh, it's tea season soon. And get going. Mm. Uh, it's fucking tea season in Gisborne. Oh yeah. Tea right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, I bet So yeah that I've been doing that mm. um, And I have my First and usually Only coffee At like 12, 30, 1 o'clock That sounds disgusting Dude My life Is so much better Oh yeah My anxiety My stress My agitation levels My focus Everything's better I'm Outside so, of the drinking Of the I'm coffee I'm so sad <laughs> <laughs> I like coffee Fuck. so much yeah, I'm, it's I like it way too much to give it up. Yeah, well, I'm the same. Yeah. I was like, no it way. Sounds like an addict. Yeah, it's, yeah. I can control it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my rich. It was like my ritual part of the day, and like making mm. a cup of fucking tea is not the same. Nah, it's not the same. Nah. It do you have a? Do you have one of those uh, kettles that like boils nah. the? Yeah, that's the most exciting thing. That tea fifteen dollar Kmart kettle. Yeah, well, we got a bougie one because they fucked up our. Um, they sold our washing machine. So we bought a washing machine, but like obviously because we moved out, mm. and then we went to go pick it up, it was on hold. But they yep. sold it to someone else, thinking that we would get <laughs> they would get another one in. Yeah, and then we needed it, and then they're just like, uh, "Well, you can have any washing machine you like within X percent above what you paid." Yeah, and then Steph was like, "And we'll have a kettle. I want this kettle as well." <laughs> <laughs> and then I was just like, "Okay." okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like you can press. It's ridiculous, man. Like you press yeah, screen yeah, key, yeah. and it's like. 80 degrees yeah. or whatever like yeah I think yeah, it's bougie oh, man has one yeah yeah, yeah. Well, it matches the uh, Barista Express yep um, coffee machine yep so you gotta keep it so you gotta be matching yeah so I've just asked for a coffee sponsorship and then said I don't drink coffee anymore but yeah, life's well, we better without coffee cut, <laughs> cut that out <laughs> oh, I love coffee <laughs> me too I too fucking really enjoy coffee yeah. but it's definitely there's a there's a lot of compounding things that are that are happening but my productivity in the last month mm. has been exceptional. Yeah. So lifestyle change, I reckon I've more than halved my TV consumption, probably like one third. Oh, yeah. Because we have one couch. Yeah. So it is, it has to be in front of the fire. <laughs> Pick, carry the couch around the house. Or in front of the TV. <laughs> so it's like, it's a big, it's a big commitment to yeah. watch TV. Are you going to get a couch? We ordered one yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you? Who made the decision at the end of the day? Uh, I was well and truly over it. Oh, I see that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. did she go for something that's comfortable or something that looks nice? 
Uh, to both, to be honest. We picked the most comfortable one. There was yeah. one that was slightly better looking, but... Uh, it would be uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable, yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. my couch. Yeah, yeah. My I, couch is pure I was aesthetics. At the, I was at the point on <laughs> Saturday, we <laughs> went shopping, and like, I didn't. I don't want to spend money on a couch because it's a rental, right? So yeah. I'm like, I want to spend heaps. It's you also don't want to live in a house. house that looks like it has no furniture. Correct. <laughs> so it's like, we went there, and I was like, this is fucked. I'm fucking not spending this much blah 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 like we went to Harvey Norman and Nick Scarly and I was like this yeah. is fucking 40% destroyed. off Nick Scarly man yeah that's still, where I got my couch still expensive <laughs> <laughs> let's jack everything up yeah, 20% yeah. so that and we can offer them 40% bit. Bit. <laughs> yeah so I was like and then so I hadn't had any I had a protein bar for breakfast yep it was 11 it must have been about midday because we are going to have lunch while we are there mm. parked went into the to the Places and we're like, this is fucked. These are all too expensive. I was say supermarkets went to in, the furniture went into shops. The furniture supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> um, walked around, went, this is fucked. Too expensive. And then as we walked out and started walking across the road to the shopping center to go for lunch, it, the heavens just fucking open. So I was hungry, I was frustrated, and it was raining. So when we got in the car, I was just like, I found these like premium, their memory foam bean bags. Oh yeah. And I was like just fucking buy two of them and, a yeah. rug and just be done with it memory foam bean bag so does yeah, that mean it has I'm, no beans I'm gonna get one anyway so that it sounds fucking it has awesome. no like beans None. so it's not noisy mm. doesn't compress over it's time. the splitting of the bag owning dogs yeah there's yeah. the friction to owning one of those ever again yeah. yeah yeah but yeah I'm gonna cause you can get the foam from Bunnings yeah so I'm gonna buy just a cheap so is the, like, is the foam in like squares or something? Yeah, it's just little like shredded foam. Oh, yeah, it's a no for me, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Only because... Cos dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Had the come home in the backyard snowing. Yeah, yeah, think. But I think we were away when it happened. So like Steph Oops. sent me that. I was like, you probably. Yeah, <laughs> have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just hate the beans. I hate the noise and shit. So. Yeah, yeah. But I would like to have a bean bag to sit next to the fire. I think that'd be good. Mm. To do my reading. Interesting. But yeah, those couple of, yeah, obviously, a little bit more outdoors lifestyle, fitter. Oh, yeah, the less coffee. Less caffeine. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, productivity is all time high. I went to the gym at fucking 7 30 last night. I've seen that. I was proud. Mm. Getting shit done. Yeah, I was proud of myself. Good. You should have been. I said to, her, said to my wife, like, we just had dinner. I'm like, should I go to the gym? Yes. She's like, what? This time, like, yeah, it's like, you gonna- I need to. Uh, you you need to eradicate that. Yeah, she's like, yeah. Can you go in the morning? I'm like, nah. Got to do this presentation yeah. before I go to the podcast, and then we have got shit to do after the podcast. So I can only train tomorrow night, and I'm already a day behind. And I feel I it's just felt be- like shit. I was like, if I don't go, I'm gonna yeah. sleep poorly. Yeah. So I went. It was good. And you don't want to be disappointed in yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm going the other way. I'm like, I'm trying to get lean for this photo shoot trying is that why you're cranky um yeah i'm just like fuck it i'm like <laughs> okay, it's working yeah so but I, i'm going the other way it's like i'm low energy i'm having two coffees a day <laughs> i'm like i wake up tired yeah I'm like fuck i gotta go to the gym yeah everything's heavy i'm also yeah. not very committed to my deficit so i will say it helps yeah well, i'm being very committed <laughs> and i can tell you now i ain't having no fucking coffee at 12 o'clock in the day, in the day. <laughs> or like, nothing's getting done yesterday oh like the dogs were just awful the night before and i was so tired you know those days when you just like coffee does nothing just makes you anxious but you're tired so i was like thank god you're presenting because i was like a fucking shell of a human just yeah like, yeah what is happening yeah yeah so it was a very unproductive day but a couple that with like a very extreme deficit mm-hmm. life's not good yep yeah but I reckon I can ride this out for another six weeks anyway so yesterday was an interesting day but you have to tune in to barbells and banter to hear the story yeah. it's a banter story yeah it's not a be on the gym floor that's right how's your camera go I'm gonna ask this every week now uh, how's your content hey, your video's getting better I haven't used it a lot oh well the video I saw was good um, I did the two on the running which was yep. not too bad <clears throat> It's pretty lazy to zoom in, zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't change the, the angle, just change the zoom. Yeah, well, they're actually filmed to be a YouTube video. So there's a before, there's some content and then some after. You don't really so have to change angle too much, I think. There's um, there's It was a cutting a YouTube video into a reel, so it obviously wasn't perfect. But I've got the... I've been working on a reel for a long period of time. Uh, fuck it, let's discuss that actually because it'll be out before this airs. Yep. 
So the hypersexuality of fitness content from coaches mm. and even more recently from business coaches. And we've been back and forwards about it for a little while. Yeah. And I've been trying to work out the best way <laughs> to approach it, to communicate how I feel about it. Ooh, rubbing my legs already, I'm uncomfortable. And, no, it's, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's actually, I think I've figured it out. So I've determined it as calling it the Lynx Africa effect. <laughs> what the fuck is that? So, you said this the other day. So, I'm like, yeah, because I've talked about it with Jess. Oh, okay, so I had it, to run my idea past. Fuck, it went over me. I was like, ah, I just laughed because I was like, Lynx, Lynx Africa is a joke. It's yeah. A meme. <laughs> so, um, yo, I actually sent. I had it all written out, scripted, done, and I was like, I got every time I thought about doing it, I got real anxious, and I was like, yeah, they I'm usually not willing to take on the blowback the back, from this, the backlash, yeah. So I'm not going to do it. It's not what I'm about. It's more I'm going to do it as from an educational standpoint. Usually means you should post it. Yeah, but I don't want to deal with the fallout, and I don't want that much friction. You should content. post it. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Links Africa effect is we all bought Links Africa when we were teenagers. Yep, because. It was the scent that would attract women to us just magically as you spray it and you step out the front door. Everyone, every girl in school is going to want to want you, basically. Yeah. yeah. So it's the the perception that it creates desire. I didn't know that that was the thing. That's why everyone wore it, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was just got it because it was like the only thing in a pack that was like $10 that you got as a present. Yeah, but there was like fucking 20 different yeah, yeah. links f- flavors hey, we're, we're going with it we're yeah. going with it so that was the thing right it's like you buy the thing because it's desirable it's no different to like mm. fucking david beckham wearing a watch or like a dior ad or whatever yeah, yeah. like you see the thing and you buy the thing because if i buy if i see the poster and that person looks desirable and they have a product oh, yeah i buy the product so therefore i am what good looking people are selling shit so that is why it works in the fitness industry yeah. So if I'm a client and I'm looking at a attractive person who seems desirable, potentially got a lot of followers, potentially getting a lot of interactions on their social media, mm. what we call the vanity metric metrics doesn't necessarily sell anything, but yep. gets lots of likes and eyeballs and stuff. Yeah. So if someone's looking at that, they deem that person to be desirable. Mm. So I want to buy what they're selling to make me desirable. Yes. And I've been thinking it through more and more and more. And there's like, there are actually, there's one business coach I can think of and multiple coaches I can think of that leverage this that are actually good at what they do. Yeah. So it's not a, it's, it's not, well, fuck them because they're shit. Yeah. It's like, well, that's not, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. not true. Some of them actually have really good content. I'm sure a lot of them are trash. But there's a lot of people that don't do that. that are yeah, there's well. dog shit as well. Yeah, so yeah. it's like it's probably a balanced ratio. Yeah, like yeah. one in ten online coaches are good. Period. So yeah. one in ten that uses this strategy is probably good as well. Mm. But I think it's important as a consumer, and this is now talking like because there is a rise of it within business coaching space. Mm. What what actually pulled me back from delivering it the way I was going to is like. The Joseph Rakic, is his name. Yeah, yeah. It's like the fucking yeah, the, roided dude on the Lambo. Yeah. It's like guys have been using the same strategy for fucking ages. Yeah. I still can't get my head around a full face of makeup, lipstick, and a business coat open with cleavage and no pants on. I don't. I I see that. And I'm like, I don't understand why that would be appealing to help you make money mm. or make your business more successful. Yeah. But the desire impact is like, oh, I get it now. Yeah. Most it's, people are making it, <clears throat> they're buying that energy. Yeah. And, and that it's, outcome. It's the that, dude, that look. for us, we're more impressed by a watch, a three piece. Mm. Sometimes even like, we've talked about it with Jordans. Yeah. Like you're just like, okay, so he's deflecting in a different way, which makes yeah. them desirable, which makes you... Some people even like the flex of like people have money and don't look like they have it. You know what I mean? Like people just, yeah. I feel like there's multiple. It's hard because like, yeah, people are attracted to different things. Yeah. 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 And people, but like, I don't know. Yeah. I think if you target market, if, 
people identify I've obviously identified their target market mm. and yeah they're leaning into the the sexuality of it to attract those people bring your business which is working so yeah. it's like you, and it's a fucking marketing tactic as old as anything yeah like, well everything like skin cells like <clears throat> you just put up a fucking reel of someone working out without their shirt on and it's like yeah gets you know because I guess at the end of the day like that's appealing mm. to people yeah but yeah yeah so that the the approach that the reel will have that hopefully is out before this comes out mm. if you want to go look at it it'll be on learn and yeah, the uh, pitchforks out. Mine? Yeah, come for me. Come for me. Start in lighting your lanterns. <laughs> sharpening your pitchforks, guys. <laughs> um, it's more just awareness that A, if you're a coach who's maybe doing it unconsciously because it gets traction, it's like if I put my ass or my abs or my chest in a photo, I get more, that's male and female, I get more interaction, so I feed into that. Because I don't know if you've ever done it, like you can actually scroll through accounts and sometimes you'll see like one picture that was like a little bit in that direction and then you can almost watch as you go back up in the timeline, you can just see it get more and more sexualized. All right. Because it's like, well, I did it once and that worked. Mm. So I'll do it again and then I'll push the boundary and then I'll push the boundary. Yeah. And it's just like you end up in this spiral. So it's really important, I think, as a coach to be if you're doing it make sure you're aware that you're doing it yeah I think that's important yeah the messaging has to be consistent I don't know I just don't like I just like obviously we overanalyze everything on Instagram now Mm because we're looking at it from like why and yeah yeah. how's it successful (laughs) yeah but it's like you know you see it all the time it's just like totally unrelated caption and then it's just like someone at the fucking at the fucking beach (laughs) yeah yeah they're fucking with their bathers on or like yeah, yeah. Someone just like you know, have fucking random selfie in the gym. Mm-hmm. It's like there's really no connect from like the message and the yeah. value of the post. And, and they're the ones, the-, the ones that are doing it right, are combining what is yes a sexualized image mm. with something valuable in the post. So yeah. it takes a value based, which is our. I was gonna say aligns with our values but that's how we like to approach things because we're that's our personality we want to provide Mm. value and help and that's what we deem our position in the market to be yeah other people are adding the sexuality layer to that which i'm more than okay with like fucking play the cards you dealt like yeah so the male the male version of that though is like the sitting on the lambo with your shirt off i think so would sell to men yeah well yeah that's yeah that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, guys? You're listening to the STC Fit Learning Podcast brought to you by ourselves. Feel free to go check out our website, so stcfitlearning.com. On there, we have a bunch of free resources, including how to niche your business, how to actually sell during consults, and a free programming template, plus our business scorecard, which you can go and take and see how you stack up in the industry based on what we think is elite and how to become the best trainer in your gym, in your town, and in the industry. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you take a screenshot and tag us, we really, really appreciate it. It really helps get this message out to help improve our industry and keep people in their personal training careers. Enjoy the app. Yeah, I think... Well, it's like why look at the biggest impact in male culture in the last 12 months was Tate. Mm-hmm. Cigars, sunglasses, yeah. expensive clothes, expensive cars. Yeah. We don't look at other dudes and be like, he's hot, so I'll do the thing he's doing yeah, so yeah. I'm hot. Yeah, he's living the lifestyle. Yeah. Women, typically, mm. who are attracted to this style of marketing, because that's essentially what it is, mm-hmm. are most likely making decisions based off the energy in the person that that person is yeah and is that person's using that in conjunction with well this is how i can you know provide an opportunity to live this way Mm -hmm. and that person's connecting those dots and going well if i just do the things that she's doing i'll look and feel yeah yeah Yeah. which yeah isn't always going to be the case but sometimes good sometimes not good yeah and i think the message that i want to to come out of the content and this conversation is to actually evaluate that. Yeah. 
I think, yeah. And the other thing is like, if your product and service is that good, you shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. I, I, I personally think. Yeah. You know? It's hard because I wonder if I was, if I was a nine. Oh, well, would I do it? I probably would. Life's easy, man. I, mean, I guess. Nah. <laughs> What's well, in the, the scientifically proven, right? Yeah, yeah. That life that, is very different when you're yeah. hot. Yeah. yeah. So it's... <laughs> We're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Life is a strong six. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's fucking getting lower and lower as the aging kicks in yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start hat trapping people. Uh, people are just going to be like, oh, you just fucking these like an old has-beens who were just washed. fucking jealous. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag washed. Washed. <laughs> yeah, we're not has-beens because yeah. I never was hot enough to sell shit based on how good I looked. Nah, me either. <laughs> yeah, nah. So, yeah, I think it's an interesting conversation, man. I want the take-home to be that when you see that style of content, to be aware of the actual product, the problems that it's solving for you, and what the tangible yeah. parts of it are, not just buy into the thing, like yeah. the look, the desire, the links effect. Yeah, I like it. Uh, and then as a content producer, because we're talking to coaches, if you're doing it unconsciously, become conscious of it mm. and then make <laughs> a conscious decision if you're okay with leveraging that, Yeah, yeah. which I have no judgment either way do you think <clears throat> yeah. um but i could see that heading in a dangerous direction for you long term we've never really lent into <clears throat> that like doing any of that stuff though and people like yes to play devil's advocate some like i've had people say like they like seeing certain things like you know the way we live our lives like yeah. what we do for fun, you know, yeah, like yeah. you just don't see enough of it. Like no, like no one knows, like you know, the house you have, the car you drive, like when you go on holidays. And yeah. I'm like, but like that's not for you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah, I, like that's in my head. I'm like, so I've never really been like as much as people are like, oh, you you always buys nice shit. Yeah, I don't show anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm not the dude who like gets in the in my fucking hundred thousand dollar car with my watch, watch that's worth thousands of dollars and takes a photo of it so yeah, you can see yeah. the the watch the and the labels. AMG sign on the yeah. dashboard. I've never been that person. It's just like, it's for me. Yeah. For people, I've literally had people like, oh, I like it when you see that. Yeah. And I'm like, well, to play, yeah, the other side of it is that we've never really kind of lent into like showing the lifestyle. Like, yeah, probably enough. Yeah, you know enough. Yeah. 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 You know, I think actually, it's a fine balance of like, yeah, not doing it to the point where like, yeah, you just like, flexing. Yeah. Yeah. We, every now and then there's like a little bit, it's probably okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not, nothing at all seems to be, yeah, not what people want either. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, the risk I think that comes with it is you start defining yourself by it and you start seeing your value is attached to it. Yeah. And that's why I've, st I've never tried to, cause I'm yeah. just like, I'm supposed to just be good at what I'm, what I do. Yeah. So I think showing the progress and success and all that kind of stuff, cause it's, that it, there's different, right? There's. The clip you did getting in and out of your car, going to Doldy's on the weekend, mm. which is like, oh, that's nice. But it's just you doing your thing versus you cross-legged with your shirt off on the bonnet. Damn, I was going to take that picture. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's a different ploy. So I can't have both my dogs sitting either side of my shirt off Definitely and my car should. in the background? Definitely should. <laughs> Blow us up. That's, the, that's up. the shot I want to actually take. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's just for me. Yeah, just for fun. I'll just have it on my office. Yeah, Be yeah. like um, Dodgeball, you know, he's got the picture of himself. It's <laughs> yeah. me grabbing a bull by the horn. Yeah. It's a metaphor, but it actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I sit with it. Um, I think the toughest thing is that like, the hardest thing for us to accept is like that's going to attract people regardless of the substance of the message, uh, uh, the messaging, the product, yeah. and the outcome. Yeah, and that's like, that's my only point is be aware of the product. Yes, you can buy into yeah the the appeal of the desirability of the person. Mm. Awesome, get it. Yeah, but also make sure that the product's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and. You're not gonna. You shouldn't be buying something thinking you're gonna be that person. Yeah, that's just fucking stupid. Yeah, look at their clients. Yeah, not them. Yeah, yeah. But you're never gonna be the person. 
Like, I'm never going to join fucking, what was it, Hustler University and be like, oh, cool. So now I'm going to be fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking, what is it? It's fucking these, yeah. Arrested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. You, I'm not going to be the person. I'm just I'm gonna, actually, like, I actually wouldn't mind buying Hustler just to like see what's in there. Yeah. I'll give you my login. Nah, please. <laughs> 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 we don't support sex trafficking on the podcast. No, definitely not. No. Ever. Not just on the podcast. Conspiracy or not? Oh, look. It's either like he's done a good job of like laying the messages out because he knew he was going to get caught or it's... It's fucking great, isn't it? Looks like, yo, they're trying to... Yeah. Trying to cancel him. I was, good. I was listening to Canceling my... Canceling for life. Listening to my new best friend, James Smith PT. Uh, and he they did a podcast with him in Dubai. Yeah. He got invited by someone else to sit in on it and he was like, well, I don't know how this is going to go. Like... It's going to be really interesting. He said off camera, like he's a totally nice, normal dude. Of course he is. And then as soon as the camera turns on, he's just like, yeah, yeah. everything's rehearsed, everything's scripted, yeah. everything's, I know exactly how to look down the lens and all that sort of yeah. shit. So yeah, yeah, it's really interesting. Who knows? Who knows? Because like yeah. uh, True Geordie came out, called him out for sex trafficking and stuff like two years before he blew up and yeah. then he got caught. Or got arrested. Yeah. Uh, he was coming after him before that. So, yeah. Interesting. Mm. And then he got himself cancelled making <laughs> inappropriate jokes about yeah Bad luck. about him. So, yeah. Interesting. Wild times. <laughs> yeah. So, the other thing <clears throat> with the social media content and uh, the behind the scenes stuff mm. that I've been reflecting on and I've actually only made the change in the last few days. So before we keep going, I just want to give you guys a little message about our Standout PT program. So Standout PT has been designed for personal trainers who want to sustain a long-term career in fitness, but right now they're sick of chasing clients, they're not making enough time for money, and they're super frustrated with the results that they're getting in their business, and they can't see themselves being here in three to five years' time. If you want to know more about the Standout PT program, head to stcfitlearning.com head to programs and all the details are there and you can book in your free exploration call where we can have a look and see whether or not that would actually be a suitable program for where your business is at right now. And back to the episode. There, uh, I follow this coach who posts their like daily st- structure this every single do. day. And every day? Pretty much. Yeah, okay. And like, life looks pretty fucking good. Like, <laughs> when we used to just do PT. Oh, man. Bro. <laughs> so, it's like... Fuck, the simple life. Wake up, journal. PT's like um, when you look back at school. Yeah. Like, just, you know, you're no, like, oh, fuck school. it. No, but you're like, <laughs> school was fucking mad. Yeah. It was just like, what are we going to do on the weekend? Yeah, and just, yeah. I've got to get through school to, to do it. Like, high school. That was high school for me. Mm. It was just like... How many times am I going to get a letter first. from school to my parents that they're never going to get yeah, saying yeah, that I did something I shouldn't first. have? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then it's like, all right, which party are we got? Because I'm to? at home because I skipped school. <laughs> and that's why yeah. you sent the letter, yeah. So when you when you uh, look back on just PT, it's just like, oh, it's such yeah. a simple time. So, yeah, this one was like on the extreme end and it's no like judgment of the person that was doing it. Because um, I actually think the coaching service is pretty good. But it's like, wake up, Journal, go for a walk, meditation, stretching, AM clients, like fucking couple yeah. of programs, go for a walk or train, <laughs> couple of PM clients, have a bath, go to bed. I'm like... Every day? I, pretty much, yeah. It's like a fucking dream life, bro. <clears throat> it's pretty good. She's young, making heaps probably. Yeah, like, yeah. Just fucking living That's the dream. Sick. Yeah. Get on. Um, yeah. <laughs> fucking good to have at it. I just, as a middle-aged person now, (laughs) apparently. (laughs) So far from it, but okay. (laughs) Um, When I was reading it, I was like, fuck, that is so not appealing to a lot of the people I work with. Yeah. So most of the people I work with are dealing with, they're either mums, they're busy, they're students, they're whatever, like... Most of what I do is navigating fucking chaos in life. Yeah. Like, I don't have many clients that's just like, train, do a job for four hours a day, and that's it. 
Yeah. So the relatability for that, like you're not, I don't know if you're conveying, when we talk about the desirability thing, it's like, yeah, the message. If I buy coaching from you, will I have this amazing life where I don't have to do fuck all and make two grand yeah. a week? Like, yeah, it's hard. Uh, so I've <clears throat> taken a more conscious step that when I'm going to show, I want to show the process a little bit more than showing than what I have in the past. Yeah. So it's like, if, I think I'm, at, a good if idea. I'm at the gym at 8 p.m., you're going to see I'm at the gym at 8 p.m. And then you'll see the next mm-hmm. day that I actually started at 7 and I got the thing done before I came to the... Yeah. Because the podcast is glamorous, right? It's like, that's the cool shit. This is the fun part that starts at yeah. 9.30. Here's but I, the five hours I fucking put this spreadsheet together for and this fucking PowerPoint slides yeah. to the bane of existence. Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and like doing... Creating sending a pitch resources. this morning that I'm yeah. fucking low-key incredibly anxious about hoping that it, something comes of it. So it's just like showing the grit part of the process yeah. I think is more relatable to most people than just the highlight reel. Yeah, yeah. And then celebrate the wins. 100%. Uh, on that, you can post them as well, like the cigar and the whiskey and shit like that. Yeah. I'm very conscious of like what I put on my page. Mm. Even like, <clears throat> I don't share things that I like. Like, do you ever have that? Like, you just like, I don't know if this should go up. Yeah. I do that all the time. Because of that, it's like my clients, my audience, mm. like there's no value for them to see this. Yeah. You know, like my wife and I went out for lunch and she's like, oh, you know, you're going to you yeah. know, do the thing. And I'm like, no. Nah. Yeah. Because I'm like, I've got clients in contest prep. I've got yeah. people dining for photo shoots. <clears throat> I'm like, I don't need them to see a fucking stam- sandwich that's this big. <laughs> it's probably like, you know, a thousand calories. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't need them to see that shit. Like, yeah. it's just, you know, I know people are like, you should be able to do and say whatever you want. But like, it just doesn't send the right message. It's not consistent messaging. Yeah. Like, yeah, balance, whatever. <laughs> 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 like that. Ooh. Um but yeah, I just like I always do that. Even just like out for dinner, I have a few drinks. I'm just mm. like, where but there was a time when I'd be like, nah, fuck it. Like, mm. this is me. Yeah, yeah, I just like, I really like kind of have this clashing of it's, of minds and decision making where I'm really selective with what I put up now. Yeah, it is a tough line, definitely. Yeah, yeah, 100%. To identify what, what's good, what's not. Because I, like, I just don't want it to be taken out of context and then... It influences a decision that wasn't the right one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I think I go through phases where I feel like a dick posting that like, like this morning, I was I was just playing with stuff to post because yeah. I was like, went to the gym late. I'm in the gym early, and like Jordan Chalo always posts like burn the boats, and yeah. like if he's up early, you know, you don't have to. He fucking you get to. Love that. <clears throat> um, he posts his time that whatever he's getting up or whatever. Yeah. It's just a black screen. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, in my head, I was like, there's no boats to burn. I was like, that's pretty cool. But then I feel like a dick, like trying to flex about hard, how hard I work. Because then I'm like, I work that hard. <laughs> like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But comparative really to other to... people, maybe. But comparative to other other people, no. So it's like, yeah. I, again, I've got people with families and shit like that that are like, what's eight hours sleep? Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> like so it's yeah. like again it's it's kind of balancing all of those yeah I copped a bit of flack when I was like free to a good home for the dogs because they fucking kept me up they're like do you want my kids I'm yeah. like no I don't yeah <laughs> made a very conscious <laughs> choice of that, that that's not happening <laughs> keep your children <laughs> yeah so I go yeah. through waves where I'm like I'm a dick if I just show yeah of course the fun stuff this is my amazing view that in my new yeah. suburb and I went for a walk up the mountain with mm. my wife tonight and this is our cool cafe and shit. Like a, mm. I feel like a dick just showing that and then I also sometimes feel the same way about trying to communicate the grunt work that goes in as well. Yeah. But if I don't show the grunt work, I feel dumb about showing the wins because then I feel like other people looking at it like, oh, this guy's got the easiest life. All you do is play golf all the time. <laughs> Like we stopped posting golf because it was like yeah that 100%. was so weird that's like the one of the one of the weirdest social concepts I've experienced yeah I trained twelve to sixteen hours a week for powerlifting mm. for a workout you could do nine years. holes you could do nine holes and a and a workout would take Clo- faster probably, than powerlifting yeah yeah Fuck especially if the course is free yeah yeah Fuck even I've done some workouts where it's like. <clears throat> The same length as nine holes of golf. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, 12, 16 hours a week training. Yeah. And everyone's like, yeah, get after it, Mark. I never even won a trophy. Mm. You know, it's not even like, you know how you say like, oh, it's just for a plastic trophy? Nah, I didn't get one. Didn't even get that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even own yeah. a single medal, nothing. Yeah. I got my, my first 5K run, I got a medal. And I was like, oh, this is fancy. Ooh. Whoa, look at me. Go, Ben. Com- well, I completed <laughs> It's going straight to the fucking pool room. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that pursuit for some reason was like awesome. Yeah. Which Don't. was really me getting morbidly obese, out of shape, in, in pain, pain <laughs> unable to life. Yeah. Go outside, hang out with your friends, play a hand-eye coordination game, be active for yeah. anywhere from one yeah. and a half to four Get hours. Probably five to 10,000 steps in a concentrated yeah. session. Yeah. Outside, do something that's hard, challenge yourself mentally and mm. a little bit physically, improve my mobility, improve my health, lose some weight. And everyone's like, fuck, bro. All you do is play All golf. All you do is play golf. Yeah. How did this happen? <laughs> yeah, I think I stopped once. <laughs> so like I was... I was online gaming because, yes, I'm an adult that does that. <clears throat> Me too, Jason. Um, and I was talking to my mate and there was just like a random dude Not in our team. You, but- and he was like, we're talking about golf. And he's like, oh, are you, so you're rich. That's what he said. I'm like, what yeah. do you mean? And he goes, well, he's like, you either run your own business or you're rich. And I said, well, I'm, I'm obviously both, both. then. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and it like, I'm just like, oh, it's funny that you say that. And he's just like, yeah, well, everyone who plays golf's rich or runs your own business. Yeah. I was like, fuck, okay. Yeah. Like, so you think that. And I was like, how old are you? And he's like, oh, I'm 19. Yeah. And I was like, all right, fuck. Yeah. Like, so then, uh, yeah, there's just always that. It's, it's catch me too, though, because then we talk to the boys. <laughs> and they're like, I love it. And they're like, I want to see that because that's where I want to be when I'm... Young. Yeah, well, you want to know it's worth it. Yeah. You want to know it's worth it, right? Yeah. yeah and I've, golf's one of those things that, like, you can only play when the weather's good during daylight yeah. hours. So, it's like... Yeah, you can't you play do, at nighttime. Having your own business makes out a lot. Like, if you're playing yeah. golf midweek, it's like, yeah, you're a business owner. But... Yeah. Just so you're cl- we're clear, if we play golf Wednesday afternoon, there's a 99 percent chance you've got to work Saturday morning. Yeah, or we're up really early to get the work done. To do before. it before, yeah, yeah like or when we get home, yeah, shit or, still has to get done. Yeah, it's just like, like you still re- work. You're not replacing golf for like something and it just doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, you still work the same amount of hours. You just shuffle them differently, which yeah. I appreciate is a fortunate position to be in, mm. but it's also an earned position based on the risks. Yeah. that come with taking that role on and doing yeah. it yourself. Yeah, I think where the pitfall lies for me is like if I can influence someone, like yeah, I put that fucking training montage up, mm. f- cap cut fucking templates, us, us. Like, yeah, I need to get into those. Oh, mate, the amount of footage we have captured mm. does work for you. Yeah. Anyway, oh, fucking, that was mad, super motivating. Mm. You know, I love it when I see you go to the gym and you put up all you, like that you were there and you showed up when you didn't want to and all that. So I'm like, yeah. okay, so... That's influencing other people. Yeah. Even that I feel awkward. Hashtag with. influencer. Like um, I never want to go to the gym. It's like every day I'm just like, don't want to be here, but I'm here. Really? When, once I get there, I, I fucking like it. love going to the gym. Once I get there, I like it. I but love usually it. I'm like, fuck, I love it. Ugh. I love Last the gym. night was a, one of the first times, one of the only times in a while that I've been like, I want to go. If someone said, <clears throat> you only had to go to one place in your life, <laughs> it'd be the gym. It'd be the fucking gym. Yeah. I fucking love the gym, man. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's... The right gym, I might say that. Yeah, no. if I had uh, any gym. One that had like a basketball court and shoes as well. <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Massage table. PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I th- yeah. So, where I was going with that is like, if I can influence somebody to do the right thing, even if it is so small and short, mm. in it, but it's that punchy and powerful, I feel like I can influence someone to do something they shouldn't when they take it out of context. Yeah. So if yeah. I like post the meal or post like yeah. you know the bowl of whiskey and the cigar, it's like this person that hasn't hit their meals, yeah. hasn't done their fucking workouts. Oh, if Jason's doing it, I'm doing it. Yeah. I was like, no, 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 hang on a minute. I've ticked yeah. all my boxes for the week. You know, you haven't. Yeah. But that, but I have that fear that yeah. you know, it's like oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the fun mm. and not do the necessaries up to it. You know. And yeah. I was talking to, I, I can't thought- remember who I was talking to about it, like just the video game thing. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, I can't play video games because I go too far and everything else just turns yeah. to, to shit. Yeah. For me, I don't get to turn that thing on That's unless I've, yeah. unless the job is done. Yeah, I'm the same. You, know, it, you, don't, you haven't <laughs> burnt it. And then 90% of the time, 
my brain is at a point once all the job's done. Yeah, you like, can't do I'm it. like, that's going to make me angry because I'm going to be shit at it. Yeah. So I'm going to go. <laughs> but yeah, it's like some people don't have that. And then if you're that person and you see someone who you look up to mm. doing the fun shit, yeah. it's like, oh, well, cool. I'm just going to do the fun shit. Yeah. So I think that's what I've been trying to lean into lately is like... You got to show the grunt work and a little bit of the outcome. Yeah. 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 Let me show you me in my fucking my Nordic socks that's another sponsorship I want Nordic socks they're great cool because I live in the country and it's really cold <laughs> <laughs> is country story of the week on this podcast or uh, on the other one okay damn. yeah I've got to <sighs> barbells and banters on can't wait this so, is just a promo for the other podcast <laughs> yeah because <laughs> yeah, this one gets more views yeah so we'll fucking get watch the other fucking them. podcast you dogs <laughs> <laughs> listen to us twice a week um I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, the yeah, yeah the socks. See me first thing in the morning at fucking six thirty <laughs> with a beanie, a Katmandu jacket, Ugg boots, and thermal socks in my back room. Yeah. That on Instagram looks really cool with my dual monitors and my fucking, but it's cold as fuck in there in the morning, mm. and I got to get up and it's got to get done. It's like, oh yeah, cool. Show the like the yeah. fire that I sit next to it. Not yeah, yeah. that's cool. I've read eight books. <laughs> Since I moved into that house, come fuck at me. <laughs> but it's like it's like oh, it looks like oh, you just fucking chill out by the couch on the couch with your dog. It's like yeah, I and do. I had <laughs> I was so conscious that I took a photo and put it on Instagram for my work while I was doing it, and then I read a book about work. Mm. And then when I couldn't actually take in any information anymore, I switched over to a fictional novel. Yeah. And actually started to switch off. So it's like showing both, I think, is important. Mm. Showing both ends of the spectrum. What's up, guys? Another quick break. I just wanted to jump in and tell you guys, remind you guys about the STC Fit Learning Mentorship. Now, our mentorship has been running since about 2016, where we've developed trainers through their first year of business in personal training and allowed them to leapfrog the first five years of mistakes that we made. If you're currently studying, looking to finish in the next month or so, or you're looking for someone to help you out with mentoring and all that kind of stuff, jump on, have a look at the details for the mentorship at stcfitlearning.com. Head to programs and mentorship and all the details are there. And you can come and be an STC Fit coach for an entire year. Includes all of our education and direct mentoring from our head coaches. Back to the episode. Do you reckon uh, reckon the... The behind the scenes is making a comeback. You know, did you watch that video? I you? So like, so apparently, so the so the the concept is, or maybe I've done a you and not watched it. <laughs> fucking highly likely. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> so the the concept is pre twenty nineteen, mm-hmm. people were capturing their life. Yeah, yeah. What they would do, and then life was shit for a bit. <laughs> yeah. So then, so then, because life was shit. Yeah. For that reason we're not going to name the names because we don't want to get cancelled yeah yeah um then it was like there was this huge shift towards like just you know face in the camera content like mm-hmm. scripted yeah scripted content so now there's the idea that we're going back towards like yeah capturing <clears throat> the stuff like documenting again you know like uh the example that was in this video was like alex is in the like homozzi's in the um supermarket or something and he's showing like how he gets Yep. 200 grams of protein in a day. Yeah. Like he could talk to, I think he's got a video yeah, like where he's yeah, just yeah. on the couch yeah, talking about it, but he's just like, now it's like, no, no, I'm going to show you Cause I can just how do I do it. Mm. So there's this. And now cameras are becoming more common. The power mics, everyone's got one. Yeah. So it leans into more people being able to do that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I've got like, to, I've got to say, Tam, how long have we got? 40 in. Cool. So we'll save that other topic for next week. Yeah, we've clocked is, it. This has been a good chat. We've clocked it. Tune basically. in next week. Because we've clocked it. Because we'll actually plan it because we decided this five <laughs> minutes before the podcast. We have the ultimate social media campaign. Yeah, we've clocked it. The ultimate. Mm. Start to fucking finish. No anxiety. No stress. Aside from filming. Straight, straight aside dir- from filming yourself. Direction and do. But yeah, it gives, it's guided anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Guided anxiety. <laughs> Very clear on yeah. what to do. So get anxiety we're, about doing the thing. Not, we're I don't fucking know excited fuck about it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, back to today's topic. Tune yeah. in next week, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, capturing behind the scenes stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. 
I have Everyone's to say, got a camera, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but I have to say, I think I said it on the pod last week, your video game, like your level of videos right now. I had a conversation with Jess about it yesterday. She's like, your content is fucked at the moment, and I was like, Jason is actually making me anxious about making content because <laughs> it's so good. And I was like, and I spoke to this motherfucker who's just like, oh yeah, I just watch YouTube videos. I'm like, no, no, no. You're seeing something in that that other people can't see. I th- so my next challenge to you, yeah, which is what we always do, mm. is, is somehow systemize your thought process of seeing yeah, and then teaching. Because we, we had a question in Standout last week and someone was like, how do I start making content? And I was like, go to the article generator because then you just have... Yeah. This, 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 and you're like, bro, you just fucking go and watch YouTube videos. Yeah. You get a camera and you do it. I'm like, D- you, he, you've just scared the shit out of me. Because yeah. <laughs> I look it's at a your little videos bit and I'm like, how did you think to walk from the side in and talk to the camera? Like, I just, my brain just does not do that. Uh, that is watching YouTube. I swear to God. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. But, it's, it, like, but you got to watch it from a. I know, I know. you got to watch it from like a. How, why did they, you know. Yeah. Like I'm, I've am i always been that person. It's like, how did that, those couple walk on the beach know, yeah, holding yeah. hands? Yeah. Like who took that picture? Yeah. Well, you know, you would have had to have like dug a hole in the sand and put your phone in there and hit record. And then the two of you would have had to walk towards yeah. the water. And screenshot. I always look at that. Yeah, yeah. Always. I'm like, I always think about it. I'm like, it's fucking scripted. Yeah. But no one cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like, oh, there's people walking yeah. on the beach together. The one where you walked into shot, I was like, Phew. like it's such an obvious thing to do, yeah. but you nailed it. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. I think I think um, I've just really tried to like I, I'm trying to increase the watch time. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like watching other people going. Well, why are they like even the even the quick changing and yeah. like the blurry to the focus, like opening up the fridge. Yeah changing the i'm like there's so many different ways to keep people engaged even just like the questions that they ask and the language that they use and yeah so i'm just like yeah i'm just really trying to lean into like how can i keep people on this video like rather than talking about the thing well one it's like get into it yeah don't fucking talk shit i don't want to hear about what you're about to do you're gonna do it yeah you know so it's like capture your attention straight away yeah you know, whether it's me doing something stupid or saying something that i shouldn't <laughs> you know um swearing a lot apparently is really a really cool thing as well yeah and then Do it's you, like uh mute yours i use cap cut to separate I, the I, audio I, I, I used to but now i don't it. yeah i've watched other people and they yeah, say yeah. the c word and everything and i'm like nah fuck it doesn't get any less traction I've got more likes yeah. on the one that I swore the most on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, yeah. So I think that. Because, yeah, captions, I always r- delete and do dot, dot, dot with the first letter. Yeah. And then, yeah, I was splitting the audio and pulling that out. Yeah, I did on the first couple and then it was like, just yeah. stopped. Seven. I watched like three or four other people and they just don't bother. Yeah, cool. And I'm like, well, I'll try it. Yeah. Because it's less time. Yeah. Editing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not an excuse and I'm not using any excuse, growth mindset, ownership, blah, blah, blah. I I'm just feel way more comfortable with longer form content. Stick stick to... It's like YouTube and shit. But yeah. The concept's still the same though. The the article generator is the same. It's like capture someone's attention. It can be something stupid, yeah. but then it's like get into the hook. Yeah. And it's like, but then after that, it's like you've got to overcome. You've got yeah. to make sure it's controversial and you've got to be like, hang on yeah. a minute. I know you feel this way, but... Yeah. It's like, yeah. if you yeah. want to feel this way, keep doing it. If you don't, yeah. So the concept's the same. It's just you've got to, it's just hit straight yeah. away. You've just got to fucking. Yeah. Which is a skill set. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. And the, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Yeah. Like the last video, I just like, it took like 20 minutes. I was like, hang on a minute, I've got an idea. Yeah. And I just filmed it. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 that. I'm starting to have more of those now. Like I'm actually this week, I think I double posted because I was like, I just want to get these out. Yeah. Because I had so much banked up. Whereas usually I'd be like, oh, I'll save it because i got no other content to post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the same. I've got peeps now. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, yeah. yeah but my- for, the, for the first time, it's fun. And I had no idea the friction yeah. that was involved in using my phone to make the content. Yeah. And I don't mean like you need to buy a camera. And it, there are people out there that use their phone and it's fine. Yeah. You know, it films in 4K and blah, blah. I've got a pro um, yeah. iPhone and whatever. But it's just, I can't see myself. And yeah. The screen and it's like, moving it around and having a tripod and, yeah. and hooking up the, the mic and shit. It's like, yep. 
It's taken all of that friction away. Yeah. And that was the problem for me. Yeah. It's... Yeah. I don't want to bring it into the gym. Like I'm not there yet with the camera. Yeah. Like I haven't kind of gone there. By it's... yourself, it's a lot. Yeah. Go on, yeah. If I went in with you two, be like, bring the camera, I don't care. Yeah. But by myself walking in with a tripod in Gisborne, <laughs> no one filmed yeah. with a the phone there. Like, yeah. I was, I, it was interesting. I had the first feeling of like what it's like to be when you tell clients to record in gym. Yeah. I walked in there with my tripod for the first time. I was like, fuck. Yeah. They, they, I'm the only person who me. records like everything they do in the gym where yeah. we go as well. Like every yeah. now and then you'll see someone with like a drink ball and that. I'm, I've got a fucking proper tripod. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walk around with a milk crate. Put it on top because it's not high enough. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, fuck. It's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's it. It's, it's like, 2023. It's like, like say something. Like, yeah. this is what, how I get paid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you going to pay my bills? No. Yeah, no, I had I'm someone ask me way. once and I said, well, he's your personal trainer. I said, that's mine. Yeah. 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 I said, he's looking at you doing your stuff. I'm, yeah. I've am i got to look at this afterwards because I can't see myself. Like, yeah. You know, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting space, this, this whole content thing at the moment. Yeah. I think something to add there is... Not just the quality and the novelty of the camera, but the fact that you're like, this is my tool to do work with. Yeah. yeah. Instead of being sucked into your phone, like, oh, I got to film more hours on my phone, got to edit more on my phone. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it takes you out of that and you're like, I've got my computer and my camera now. They're just mm. yeah. set aside. Even the yeah. editing too, like, you just fucking take the memory card out and plug it in. Yeah. And now yeah. everything's here. It just feels different. Instead of like yeah. uploading here, downloading. It's oh, so downloads efficient. is a zip folder. Fuck it. Yeah. Ugh. It's so efficient. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's way better. Such an efficient process. But yes, yeah, so that was Tam. Happy birthday for yesterday, mate. Yeah, thank you. Happy birthday, big dog. The the man behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Cult hero of STC. That's it. Bigger following than we do, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Did you get bulk followers yesterday when we posted you? No. Nah. Fuck, you don't know how often in standout PT, people are like, are like, how do you manage this? And we're like, well, we have Tam. But <laughs> yeah. this is what you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> if we were to do it ourselves, it would look something yeah. like this. Yeah. Enjoying the, but yeah, I'm having fun with the camera. I yeah. don't know if it's like a fad and a wear off, mm. but I need to go find a stand. I was going to order one, but I want to just fucking see it and feel it. I hate buying shit like that online yeah. to get a stand for my desktop. Uh, For the camera. Yeah. Mm. Cause it, the, I like, definitely can't so get much that fucking, fucking top off the tripod can't do it Ugh. and then like even the you know you've got the insert in that one so I'm pointing at a tripod guys that has an insert oh you can take it you out you can extend mm. I can take that out of my tripod but the extender you've got I can't take it I can't take the extender yeah, out just, of that you just gotta get the so yeah. just gonna have to buy one yeah. Yeah. I could spend a lot of fucking money hopefully Joby have one, one so all like because I'd like to be able to just pull that pole out and put it on the computer yeah somehow I feel like you're dreaming We'll see. Maybe just make one. Yeah, I'll find a bracket or something. Just yeah. <laughs> Go to Bunnings, mate. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I live in the country now. I can DIY. <laughs> Bro, I bought a mower. Yeah, I know. I haven't used I'm it so yet because it's fucking rained every the same single day. Me. Same it's the same one? Me. Yeah. Fuck, I was meant 36 to buy a better one. 36 volt. Fuck, didn't get a better one. That's all right. I don't nah. care if you had a better mower. <laughs> Ben's got better power tools than me, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I literally set it up, turned it on in my living room, yeah, it's still in my living room. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a vacuum. Because there's no couch in my living room, so it just lives in there anyway. Just mowed, Just mowed the couch. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's literally rained every day. Yeah. So you can come do mine afterwards. All want. right. No, I want to use my mower. <laughs> not your mower. Yeah, well, you bring yours in. <laughs> fucking hate my mower. <laughs> <laughs> but I cheaped out and bought a fucking hand edger. I wasn't yeah. spending 200 bucks on the edger. Tight ass. Yeah. Nah, it's all right. Have you got I've one? I've got one, yeah. I've got a yours. whippersnipper. Yep. And it's got the same battery. You do the edges with that? Yeah, bro. Because mm. the power, it's like that high that it cuts. Yeah, you yeah. get the angle right. Yeah. Oos, oos. Yeah. I still want an edger though. I want to be that dude that has the best lawn in the street. Yeah. So, yeah. Go outside and have a look. You know, hey, it's, yeah. It's serenity, mate. How long does it take you to put take your bins in after bin day? They go in the same day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking instantly as soon as the truck comes. It's, like it's I'm not nice. a. I'm not so about it. We're the only people in the street that it's like. So, because of the way our house is set up, you walk, both our cars are in the garage. Yeah, it's friction to it. And the bin is like tucked way on the other side of the block. Yeah. It's not even friction, it's just, I don't see it. Mm. My whole front yard is garden. I can't see the road. Yeah. But aside from the like steps 
yeah. the nice brick steps. Karen and Greg down. are going to hate you. They, I reckon. Someone put them away the first week, were they? Oh, yeah. After maybe they, you, Maybe they... Yeah, that's a big fuck you statement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Amy's like, oh, that was nice. I'm like, nah, that was a flex. Yeah, that's not, yeah. A, that's not nice. <laughs> that that's was like, put, listen here. Put in your this fucking... street, we put our bins yeah, away. Put your bins away. Yeah, whereas Point Cook's like, you just leave them out seven days. Fill them up again next week. <laughs> yeah, if you can fucking find the bin between the fucking grass that's a meter yeah, high. Yeah, 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 yeah. So don't, don't get me started. I'm too, yeah. I'm too salty and angry right now to get rolled up. It's not even Thursday. <laughs> Every day is Thursday at the moment. I just need some food. Dieting is Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else to add, socials wise? Show up. Yeah. Keep showing up. It works. It works. Yeah. So, what's your? Have you had? inquiries more conversations uh engagement's gone up ridiculous um yeah. more followings um i don't know if it's translated to like inquiries or anything just yet i think that's still pretty once like, we introduce the campaign you know? well yeah it's like it's just a piece to the puzzle and we've got other things that we're working on that's gonna you know but like yeah. i like uh james said when we went to the workshops like you're showing up to shop for your business mm. and shop for yourself so I'm taking that as the Yeah, I like the identity thing. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not posting every day to become an overnight success. I'm showing yeah. up every day because I said I would. And I, and it's like I can show up in the gym and that's the easiest thing to do. Yeah. But it's like I need to show up at home uh, in the office and show up for for the business and and for me there. Mm. So I'm doing that. So between cuz it's Monday cuz you listened to this the day it dropped cuz you're of course a fan. Uh between now and Wednesday when Barbells and Banter drops there's a really good episode of James and Lane on yeah. James Smith's podcast. Yeah. Two most hated people in fitness. <laughs> Have a conversation for an hour and a half and you leave liking them both. It's funny how that yeah. happens. Yeah. Um, and they talk about like Lane was just like, I've made like 10,000 posts in 10 years. Mm. Like just put out content after content after content and it's like ended up. Someone asked him how he got onto the Huberman podcast and he was like, well, we've that trail's so long. Yeah, because like he knew this person who knew me from this person who knew me from this person who knew me from this person. Yeah. It was like a fucking seven people trail. Yeah, to actually get there, yeah. you only create that opportunity by putting out as much stuff. Yeah, as possible. getting out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I've, I'm getting, I'm getting over people saying like, oh, you're, you're, you're so knowledgeable, and people don't know who you are. Mm. I've had like three or four people say that. Yeah, They're like, oh, you're one of the like the. The unknown, the unknown minds of the fitness industry. I'm like, fuck. Like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's just because I've lived in my shell and I thought Too Instagram long. was just for pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to put out my life and shit. So yeah, like, I'm yeah. like, well, fuck that. It's time to show up. Yeah. It's time to show up. Let's go. I'm in. Let's see it. Oos, oos. So next week, we are going to outline our exact campaign strategy. So we have never ran Start a finish. campaign ever. It's the first time. And we're really excited about it. Mm. So you're going to hear about it before we do it and then hopefully be exposed to it and then come and do standout yep. PT because of it. But we're going to give you the cheat code that we're going to use uh, for yeah marketing both our coaching, our new subscription app yep. uh, and our education products yep. and workshops and everything. Mm. Um, so stay tuned for next week. It's going to be awesome. See you there. Bye. <laughs>